You're welcome back. Many thanks for staying with us. The outgoing CEO of Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Felix Sanya, has touted his achievement, saying the hospital is now saving between 80,000 CDs and 100,000 by repairing its own oxygen plant. Dr. Felix Sanya explained that during his tenure, he ensured that the hospital's broken-down oxygen plant was restored and supplied to all clinical departments. The reasons for the uh, termination of his appointment are not immediately known, although his contract cancellation comes in the wake of seeming waves of dismissal of CEOs of state agencies by the president. Speaking to Joy Nieces Kwesi Paka Wilson after his ending over ceremony, he said government made a mistake by using the word sack in his dismissal letter. When I heard I was sacked, I was dismissed, I was, I was all, all that. And I also heard that they said it is not because of that, but it's my age. Whatever be the reason, God, I, I, I'm, I'm there to um, do, I'm there as a servant. I'm happy that the government has come out to say that um, the first uh, sack and the rest was not right. And that it, um, it was because of my age. And so, so you were sacked because of your age? If I'm sacked because of my age, that's, that, 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 that is basically, but um, the dictionary definition of sack, dismiss, and the rest may not probably conform to what the Labor Act and the laws will say. You will not normally use dismiss for somebody you have employed, and you know his age before you employed him. But that said, I don't have any, anything against um, being asked to step aside because of my age. Because my age was known by the government before I was asked to come. Um, I believe, I, I tend to believe that the word dismiss and sack were, were printer's devil. Oh, is that what you think? Well, I said, I, I want to believe that the dismiss, the sack, and the rest were printer's devil. Because the government has come back to say that it is not what they intended to say. So it may be what the, the, the print media were saying. That said, whatever happens to man happens for a purpose. Trials are good for human beings and are for our development. You know, when you face diverse trials, you face even humiliation and things like that, and you could look up to God, and God comes in and stabilizes you and tells you that it is for a purpose. So today, if it happened last, last week, that probably it was people thought and people thought. Today, no, or even tomorrow, they'll say that I didn't even take salary. I didn't even take petrol. I didn't even, uh, my, I paid my driver. I paid my security. I used my car. I, I, I did, I've not eaten from here. I've never touched Kolibu thing. I used my own restaurant for Kolibu. So there is no reason for dismiss because I had, there's no, when you say dismissal in, 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 the, in, in, in law, then it means that you've done something offensive. Are you so, thinking so, anything wrong? No, no, no. Such a, well, such well the, the, sec, the second uh, press things, the government has not told me any such thing. All what they told me that I should hand over to him. The rest of the things that are in the media. So I'm saying that I, I want to believe that it's a printer's devil. Whether or not it's a printer's devil, some of the workers at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital are aggrieved. Or they are calling on government to clear Dr. Anya's name from any wrongdoing. Sincere apologies for that hitch there. We'll bring that later uh, if we're able to. But speaking of sacked uh, heads of institutions, former chief executive of the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, Gifty Klenam, has accused people uh, from within the company of orchestrating her dismissal. Even though the former member of parliament for Lower West Akim would not disclose the persons involved, she stated that she's yet to meet the president on the matter. She's been speaking with Kojo Yangsen. As I speak to you, every other thing we have done in that office is just, and of course I have not worked in the civil servant before, and so we just have to do consultation. How much is this institution taking? How much is this one taking? Then we look at it. Even my, my salary, I had to go to the minister. The minister had to wait for the board, doing all kinds of, so if you look into the books, you see that my salary has changed over and over. It's like, we're waiting to see who, how much I am due. How much did they settle on in the end? 26,000 uh, a, a month? A month, yes. 
So let's clarify the situation with the uh, accusation, the allegations that are out there. It said that you collected $132,000 or about 580,000 Ghana cities for house rent for two years. Okay. Is that correct? Um, it is not correct and it's very sad. Um, the gentleman who picked those information from my office which I can, I can, <laughs> anyway, I have promised myself I will not mention names, but um, I want to stick to You that. know who put the story yes, out there? Yes, yes. Every, everybody in the government know, including the chief of staff, they all know who put the information there. So the gentleman in my office who took this raw data and put it out there um, has caused me so much damage. It's painful, but I leave it to God. So how much rent uh, did you pay yourself? So what is it? The, the rent I take is 1,500 a month and not, and then my two deputies take 1,300 or so. That's not, dollars? Yes, and not the amount he has put there. How uh, was that yeah, amount yeah. arrived at? For, for four years. Yes, how, how, who decided? How was that decision made about you know, how much you should collect? It's percent of our, uh, um, our, is it basic or something? Yes. 20% of that. And that is a decision made by who? The board, to, the board has ratified all. So the board, we have the board minute to that effect. So you paid yourself 20% or you didn't pay yourself. You, you, yeah. you were allocated 20% yeah. of your salary yeah. uh, as rent. Yeah. So and let me explain to you how that figure came out. When you look at the clothing, you see that the guy who put the information out there has taken this clothing amount there is meant for the three chief executives and then the director of HR, director of finance, and the rest. So all this amount, he put all together on my name. But when you come into the books, you see that this amount of money is for, I think, four, five or six people which the one who put the information out there himself also benefited from this. Give to Clean up there whether or not he received more than $1,500 a month as rent. We understand this afternoon that the letter, and in that interview, if you've been following um, on this platform, in the interview, he does in, she does indicate that she has not received any official communication from the presidency as to whether or not he's be, she's been dismissed. What well, information we're picking this afternoon is that that letter has been handed here and she has been dismissed. Away from that.